now Ms. Dalli. Thank you, Chair, um, and let me start off by thanking also the Commission and the Council representatives um, for their introduction here. Um, and I would like also, together with my other colleagues, emphasize how much this Parliament and the members of this committee are not willing to settle for a watered-down version of what we originally have. And I think this is a message that has to get through to both Council and Commission, um, because ultimately here we are speaking about the impact on our citizens' health. And if we settle down for something less, it is our citizens' health that we are um, putting at stake. I have a couple of questions for the Commission mainly. Um, it is something that was referred to, but which I would like to emphasize because I really would like us to have a reply about this because it would set um, the settings for what we are about to be presented with. If the Commission is introducing conformity factors, as we have already mentioned, can the Commission be precise and indicate to us what conformity factors it is willing to settle for and what phases it is envisaging, considering that also any conformity factor we'll be speaking about is a weakening of the original um, proposal. A second question. If the Commission is willing to settle for higher conformity factors of one, how is it going to balance out the fact that cities and highly trafficked locations need to meet targets of only 2% exceedances? A third question. As we stand today, we have a concrete target, which is a good target, but we have a very weak test. We're moving from the situation that we are today. How can the Commission effectively commit itself that we will not end up in a situation where we, where we would end up having a strong test, but then we will end up having a weak target? And a final question, if the Commission has any concrete plans to eventually reform the RDE testing, as currently proposed for NOx, um, for it to include other pollutants, including also um, CO2, if yes, by when? Thank you. There were a number of comments related to uh, what the Commission is going to propose in terms of specific values of conformity factors. I can only tell you that the ultimate conformity factor that we are going to come up with is, of course, one. And as I said, uh, our second package will be rolled out in two steps, and the limit for the second step is exactly this one. So there is no discussion about uh, where are we going to um, end. Now, of course, what is subject to very intensive debates with member states is what is the intermediate conformity factor. And I wouldn't be able to tell you today what it is. We are, of course, calling for as low factor as possible. But this is a very complex process, and we have to take into account voices that we hear from the member states, from um, uh, third parties, from industry, and we have to strike a very right compromise. Um, thanks, Joanna, and thank you, everybody, for the various questions. I, I think I must say I'm, I'm rather heartened to start off by I think a lot of people have said there should be no watering down of the targets, and I think this is certainly our philosophy as well. We have the CO2 targets set for cars in 2015 and 2021 and for vans in 2017 and 2020. Those targets are firm. They were reviewed only a year ago, and the co-legislator decided on them in, in April, May last year. So they're, they're very much fresh in our minds. But I think it also has to be recalled that those targets were set on the basis of the NEDC test cycle. Um, and I think this is really what um, manufacturers and everybody else have in mind when they're actually building their vehicles to, to comply with these targets. So when we come along in 2017, 2018 and change that test cycle from the NEDC to the WLTP, we have to be very, well, very much aware of the conditions we apply during that uh, changeover process. And this is where this concept of comparable stringency comes from. You know, if you, were, if you had a car, if you had a van which has been designed, has this technology is fitted to meet an NEDC type cycle uh, target, you can't suddenly change it and say the same vehicle um, has to suddenly adapt to WLTP because it is just not comparable. 